Hey guys, before we start this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. Um, in this video, um, I was really focused on trying to get this done and trying to learn and I was trying to kind of just re uh, remember all the things that Dustin was trying to tell me because keep, this isn't the first engine I built, but this is the first engine that I built all the way from the ground up. and. Um, so this, there was a lot of stuff that I had to learn and uh, thank you to Dustin for helping me and walking me through all the, all the stuff with that and what everything, exactly what it does and stuff like that. Um, so anyways, today's video is just gonna be uh, just kind of a, a walk through on building this engine up, um, dressing it all up and all the, all the fun components on it. Um, the injectors I got from Industrial Injection, so we did get those in, and those are just, those are um, some big injectors. They're kind of a custom injector. You can't really just order those. And um, uh, let's see. And the pump, uh, the pump, I got the pump. I didn't show it in this video, but the pump is a, uh, it's a 14 millimeter shaft pump. It's just Industrial Injection's XP pump that they have. Uh, it's got a 14 millimeter shaft in it um, and hopefully we'll see how much horsepower we'll make in the next video. We'll be putting in the motor in the truck and taking it up to an event and seeing what we make. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Hey guys, and one more thing. Um, I didn't really describe the parts that I used in this video that much. Um, so if you want to know all the all about the parts and everything that I used to, to dress up this engine, uh, my previous video is actually a video of me unboxing all the parts and talking about what they are. So go and watch that video if you're interested in that. And yeah, uh, let's get in the video. Uh, today's Saturday. I finally got some time to come work on this thing. Uh, this is ET's propulsionary system here. And we got to get some stuff dressed up on it, get this thing painted for you guys, and uh, hopefully get some bling parts added to it. So stay tuned if you want to see how this thing looks uh, when it's all dressed up and. this thing painted uh, we've got some alien heads on there for all ET and some alien blood splattered on there because we ran them over and then we got our card of parts over here we're gonna bling it out with now so yeah stay good we're getting these all dirty I think we should go with this polished look here are you sure oh yeah yeah let's 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 see how this guy looks on there. ready
just a link for that. Is there a calendar? Or do we have to go get it? Oh, I don't know where it is. We have it over here somewhere. Or thin down here, like. Oh no, that was last night at our house. Looking good. I don't think these are the right ones. Well, So the reason we do this is because when it's in the truck, mm -hmm. in order to replace that freeze plug, you have to pull the trans out. Right. Is it still up? Nope. Well, just as long as it's sitting there tight. That's all. Did you get it on the pin? transfer tubes. Sheesh. That's good. You don't want to drill out transfer tubes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and make a cold. 
the popping noise. That, yeah. And I know that if you don't put it on the right notch, whoo buddy, I'll just knock the bridge right off and fucking mm -hmm. start running backwards. I think I got the notches the correct way. Oh yeah. yeah. And we'll double check too, because we'll roll the motor over to set the overhead. So. Actually, I'm, I'll show you another trick. Is when you another trick when you when you go to do the overhead, that will just kind of make sure that. Let's build these rockers. Let's get them oiled up and get these assembled so that we can put them in there. I already built this one, as you can see. Okay. That's it.
Guys, we got all the rockers in. We got the injectors in. We got the bridges on. We got everything. We got all the valve train on. Um, be careful when you're doing this, especially when you're putting these in. You want to make sure that these are on the lifter or if you have them in wrong or if you have them down like to the side of the lifter or anything, you're going to jack up your engine, especially with these big uh, push rods in there. So now we're going to go and set the, the valve lash on these and I'll show you guys that in a minute. All right, we got our valve lash set. Uh, we did the 10 on the exhaust and 20 on the, or sorry, 10 on the intakes and 20 on the exhaust for now. Um, injectors are all in, everything's torqued down, everything's tight, everything's good. I went ahead and put this on, torqued that down. Um, and yeah, now she's ready to basically run. Um, I need a few more gaskets, I need a seal for this here. It's just bolted on to look good right now. I need a seal for that. I've got this I gotta put on. Um, I'm washing up the fuel rail right now. I'm trying to decide which one I wanna use. It looks like that one's a lot cleaner. So I'm probably gonna use that one. And she's basically ready. A um, Few more stuff I'm waiting on, uh, like an exhaust and stuff like that. And then, yeah, uh, that's that. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> today we got this thing basically as far as I want to go tonight I'm gonna to go to the demolition derby tonight so it turned out a lot better than I thought it was gonna turn out the paint looks absolutely beautiful the this lighter color is exactly what I wanted and it was hard to find that um, luckily Matt Schmidt hooked me up and got me what I needed but I just want to thank uh, Dustin for coming on a Saturday and helping me and his son Talon and also my <laughs> wife that's been filming a lot of this back there. But anyways, that's it for today. I'll see you guys later.